Ashley Moody. Taking a look outside at your downtown Palm Springs can. Maybe you want to head down there, do a little bit of your Black Friday shopping for today. Conditions should be nice for it. it is a little bit chilly to start 40s and 50s here on the valley floor. But of course, we will be warming up into those mid 70s before you know it. And we'll be done with this wind advisory before you know it. Thank goodness it's been with us for quite some time now. Stays with us just until 10 a.m. this morning. Obviously does include the San Gorgonio Pass, but already we've been watching those Santa Ana winds that have been pretty gusty at times weaken over the last several hours. Strongest gust came through Cabazon for our area at 65 miles per hour, so certainly warranted, but we're over that. We can go ahead and calm things down now as we head into the rest of your weekend. Your current peak wind gusts are looking to stay below 15 miles per hour here on the valley floor for the remainder of today. Again, those are peak wind gusts, so those are the strongest winds we could be seeing, which means overall pretty calm conditions in terms of your sustained winds. But that could be changing rather quickly for us. While Saturday and Sunday are looking pretty calm, this trough of low pressure makes its arrival as we head into the start of the upcoming work week. Of course, what a way to start a Monday. I expect much cooler temperatures to come in with some onshore winds for us, so not Santa Ana winds. And with that, we could be seeing some moisture, but that's mostly looking to say west of our area mountains. I'm not too concerned about any precipitation here locally. If you're just concerned about your Saturday and Sunday, maybe you want to travel around just a little bit, kind of a staycation, mid to upper 70s here on the valley floor, upper 50s up in Idlewild, and looking at mid to upper 60s if you want to head up to the high desert, maybe do some hiking or hang out in Joshua Tree National Park. Breaking it all down in your first alert comfort air seven day forecast. Those mid to upper 70s stay with us as we head into the rest of your holiday weekend. Upper 60s, though, a big drop off there in your temperatures as we look ahead toward Monday with the arrival of that trough of low pressure. Overnight lows will be hanging out in the 40s. We're going to keep those 60s around into the middle of next week. So definitely some changes that are triggered by that trough of low pressure as we look ahead. But overall, for the next couple of days, you're going to see a whole lot of consistency and should be pretty comfortable if you're hanging out right here around town.